Hi guys, God bless, God bless. Here early, gonna read um, Psalm 100. It's only five verses. Amen, amen. Glory to God. And the title is A Song of Praise and Joy. Amen. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for this word we're about to read. May you open up our minds to receive your mighty word. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Okay. I'm going to read in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. The everlasting God. Amen, amen. Glory to God. So it says, it starts with, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Hallelujah. Um, he says, serve the God with God with gladness. Hallelujah. Come before his presence with singing. Worship him. Hallelujah. Praise God. He's so merciful and loving to you. You must praise him. You want to praise him because you're thankful. He, he replenishes our joy. Amen. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. He is God. He is superior to us. He is our Father in heaven. He is beyond our understanding. Amen. If he that hath made us, and not we ourselves, we are his people in the sheep of his pasture. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. And be thankful unto him and bless his name. Always be thankful to the Lord, hallelujah, for the good and bad. Because he knows all things, like I said before, he's omnipresent. Um, omniscience, omnipotent means all-knowing. Hallelujah. So, no matter what's going on, you have to be thankful. Thankful if you're in pain thankful for the good because everything has its reasons and everything will come to pass the way it must be aligned amen for for the lord is good and his mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth all generations forever everlasting forever amen it says down here it says so Psalm 100 concludes the series of Psalms 93 through 100 um, that were all written to inspire people to praise God as Lord over all the earth. God's rule is the inspiration to make a joyful noise. The psalmist challenges all the earth to participate in glad worship and songs of joy. People have good reason to praise God to begin with. He is God. The one and only sovereign Lord, a fact to be acknowledged. In addition, he is the creator. Created humanity should identi identity with their creator. Beyond that, God intended a loving relationship with his people. They are not just created being left to fend for themselves. They remain in God's care as the sheep of his pasture. He will always provide for us. He will always take care of, of, of his sheep, of his people, his pastor. Amen. These are all the observations that should motivate people to be joyful. Joy, <clears throat> joy should be shared with others in communal worship. The gates that in courts are references to the temple. Worshippers have to go through one of the several gates in order to get to the inner courts as along the way to worship them then people are to express praise and thanksgiving to god be thankful hallelujah praise
praise and thanksgiving are often linked and for good reason. Praise is grateful acknowledgement of God, of who God is. And thanksgiving is appreciation for what he has done. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. God is good. God is good. That is what I have for you today. May the Lord bless you um, today, tomorrow, and forevermore. Thank you for reading with me. It's always a pleasure. Um, God bless you. Let's give thanks. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for the word that we just read. May you continue to bless us and watch over us and edify us every day. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. God bless you guys. Bye.